Tonight, lawmakers are calling on President Obama to declassify sections of a top secret con congressional report which may indicate involvement in the 9 11 plot by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Several people who have seen the 28 pages in question indicate there could be specific information implicating the American ally in the worst ever terror attack on this country. Correspondent Kevin Cork has tonight's story from the White House. Have you asked him personally, has he taken a look? I mean, this is in the news. He's insatiably curious. I imagine that he has access that he probably has seen them, no? Uh, I, I just, I don't know whether or not he's... Uh, you haven't had a chance to ask him about I have not asked him about it. If White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest looked and sounded uncomfortable fielding a question about whether President Obama had read the now infamous redacted 28-page chapter from the congressional 9-11 report, it was probably for a good reason. As just days before a key summit with Arab leaders in Saudi Arabia, the White the House is now bracing for renewed questions about the kingdom's possible role in the September 11th attacks. At issue, a still classified 28-page chapter from the Congressional Joint Inquiry Report, part of a voluminous 838-page account of the 9-11 attacks. The section in question has been shielded from public review since 2003 at the request of the Bush administration in the interest of national security. There is credible evidence in those 28 pages, we believe, that there was involvement on the part of some agents of the Saudi government in providing aid and support to the hijackers who brought down the World Trade Center and attacked the Pentagon. Quinn, an attorney representing some 2,000 9-11 families, believes the U.S. may have classified the pages to protect its delicate relationship with its Saudi allies. Some leaders on Capitol Hill agree and say now's the time for transparency, not trepidation. This is going to cause embarrassment for those who, who should be embarrassed. And uh, I still think the overriding interest should be with transparency and, and, and fairness for the victims of 9-11 of and their families. Experts suggest the report could further exasperate a sensitive diplomatic tightrope for the Obama White House, which has already struggled to sustain ties with Riyadh over its Iran nuclear deal and deconfliction efforts in Syria. Worse, if the 28 pages confirm suspicions that the Saudi government did in fact help some of the 9-11 attackers, the legal, diplomatic and political fallout could be devastating for U.S.-Saudi relations. It needs to be explored, it needs to be explained, and it needs to be resolved. Of course, the longtime Fox News viewers may recall back in 2011, we had a lot on this in that documentary that we produced, The Secrets of 9-11, with Catherine Harridge, uh, Catherine Harridge, Bill Hemmer, and Eric Shaw. Now, to be clear, Brett, the president can declassify these 28 pages that we've been talking a lot about. In fact, twice, he has promised to do so, but he's yet to keep that promise to the 9-11 family. But we also learned late this evening from the Tampa Bay Times that former Florida Senator Bob Graham heard from the administration today and has been told that the uh, material in question could be released sometime within the next month or two. We'll be watching very carefully, Brett. And the president travels to Saudi Arabia soon. Kevin.